All right, what is up everybody? This is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews and I hope you're all having a great day. It's great to be back with you with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Umarex Legends M712. I've used this in about a billion videos already so I have no idea why I have not reviewed this. There is no excuse for it so pardon me guys. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I actually picked it up on Amazon. It was $119.99. I just looked today, let me just look at my notes here. It's still $119.99 on Amazon, but I checked some other sites out for you guys. You have umarex.com, it's the same exact price, $119.99. And Pyramid Air, of course, as usual, is always a bit cheaper. Not even that much, but a little cheaper. It's $112.95. So $112. 95 compared to 119.99 so uh, I don't know you can pay uh, a little more get it quicker I have an Amazon Prime account so I tend to sometimes just pay a little extra just to get things quicker I like to get things quick so I can review them for you guys but this thing I've had for a long time and it's just such a solid gun I've never had an issue with this I've had this gun for so long now and I don't know why I haven't reviewed it it's just awesome. It's full metal. has nice weight to it. It actually weighs, uh, let me see, 3.1 pounds exactly. It feels really good. It's just full metal design. The only plastic on it is the grip right here. Unfortunately, you have this plastic grip, but it feels really good. That roundness to it feels amazing. It just feels good to hold. You can certainly shoot this with one hand. You do not need two hands to use this. Uh, if you can, you can find a broomstock handle, by the way, too, and attach it to this. It has a slot for it. Down here, you got your little uh, sling swivel, so you can attach the sling to it. But yeah, this thing is just a solid gun. So let me just show you around this a little bit. So right here, you actually have your fire selector because this is full auto and a semi-automatic gun. Um, let me focus a little better for you. It is in German, unfortunately, so just so you know, guys, the R is full auto. Um, I'll put in the video what the R and the N stand for. I forget. Uh, I think R is Reichert, and I forget what the N stands for, but I'll put them in the video. R is full auto, and N is semi-auto. Now, to move the selector, the fire selector, you actually have to press this button in and then switch. So, you're not in semi-auto for example like like that until that button pops up so you can see it pop up like that uh, so make sure like for example if you're in full auto and you wanted to switch to semi-auto make sure you hear that click and that button pops up otherwise you're staying full auto now let me just show you the gun a little more on this side not much to it it's just solid metal not much to the barrel you got a fixed front sight and the rear sight here is adjustable for elevation, so you can adjust it um, depending on how far you want to shoot. You have a little button on the side there you just press in, and you can move it up and down. It's really solid. This right here is the hammer, so you just pull that back when you're ready to shoot. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this right here. I'll try to focus a little better. It seems when I get closer, it goes out of focus. See how it says F? That means you're in fire. This lever right here is the safety. So if you put it up, now it says S, that's safe. Now you're in safe, you cannot pull the trigger. If you pull it down, and it says F again, you're in fire, now you can pull the trigger. Um, so just beware, make sure you're in safe. If, you're, if you want to be in safe, make sure this is up at all times. Uh, and now you cannot pull the trigger at all. You can't hurt yourself or anything like that. So just make sure that's up uh, and you'll be good. Again, this is the fire selector and that's it really for this side. So let me flip this thing over and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Let me just focus again. So right there, uh, you just have your standard warning that comes on most guns. It says, I don't even know how to say that, Waffen, Waffen Fabric M712 AC and then this little F symbol within the uh, stop sign, I know, or just, what do you call it, uh, hectagon, I know what it means, I just don't know 
uh, what it's called. Um, and then you have here, you have your serial number. I just noticed that myself. Um, here you have caliber 4.5 millimeter, 0.177. This right here does not do, I'll show you what this is here. You just put the sight up, pull the hammer back. Right here, yeah, this is your charging handle. So when you're ready to fire, take it off safe, pull it down like that, cock it back, and then you just pull the charging handle. You see how it has two sides like that? And then you let it go. Now you're charged. Now you can fire a BB. Um, so on this side though, to get BBs in, this is your mag release right here. So you just press that in and the mag drops out flawlessly. You have an 18 round drop free mag. This magazine is solidly built. It's just a solid piece of metal. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it locks. Oh, it does lock into place, which is awesome. Really cool. Um, I love that it locks in a little bit. Sort of locks in like that. But uh, to get BBs in, as you can see, uh, let me show you. Let me just put the, uh, you can see how the slit gets thin to thicker. So you have to pull the spring down beyond the thin part. And then the BBs get loaded right into the thick part right there and they just fall down. I know that's a weird way they should have put a circle or something but um, that's how you do it. You just put your BBs in that part where it gets thicker, the opening, and then they drop in which I will show you in a second. One thing I noticed about this gun, this spring, it shouldn't lock like that even though it does. You can just take something and push it down. Uh, I don't know if I have it. Yeah, I could use this. It should, shouldn't lock like that. So be careful with that, guys. Oil this up. Keep that oiled. And that's it. Yeah, just be aware of that. It shouldn't lock like that. Um, so if it gets stuck like that, just grab something. Or sometimes, which I know it's probably not the best thing to do, what you could do simply is just pull it down and let it go hard. And it goes all the way up. I don't like to do it that way. i much rather uh, go like this. It's just easier on the gun if I could actually grab the spring again what I like to do is actually just guide it I'll push it down like this stop it with my thumb and then just let it go up so it doesn't slam against the top I don't know how fragile these are or not I don't want to take a chance but uh anyways yeah that's some cool magazine uh this is your piercing screw it comes with an allen key so it has a Allen key in the box included. Uh, and you use your Allen key to unscrew that. This is a piercing screw again. I'm going to take that out so I can show you how to load CO2. Now the max FPS for this thing is 365 feet per second. So it shoots pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty decent. Not uh, as fast as a lot of other guns. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, one thing I will say about this gun is that on full auto, it just eats through CO2. It just totally eats through CO2. So I tend to not even use it on full auto. I do it once in a while, but I stick to semi-auto. Unless you have the CO2 and you just don't care. But, um, you know, I can't keep buying CO2 constantly, so I have to be uh, a little conservative there. Uh, so I tend to stick to semi-auto. Full auto, I don't know why, it just eats through CO2. I think the cyclic rate is just a little too fast. Uh, I don't know what it is, maybe. But yeah, so I'll, let me just see, make sure I didn't miss any other specs. It is blowback, as I said. Or I don't think I said, maybe I said it. Um, it does have blowback action. Again, it takes one 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Oh yeah, it is single action, I did not say that. And uh... Oh yeah, it also has a smooth bore barrel, so it does not shoot pellets as you can see. There is no rifling in there. It's nice and smooth. It also, I told you I think it weighs 3.1 pounds, and again it has an overall length of 12 inches. So that's it for the specs for this thing. Other than showing it to you, it's just an awesome gun. I love looking at this thing. I could show you this thing all day. My girlfriend even said when I pulled this out to review it, she was like, oh, you're going to do your favorite gun. I was like, ha, yeah, I guess. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to load uh, CO2 and BBs into this thing now. So, um, what I like to do, again, is just get some BBs. Uh, sucks to have to do it this way. I'm not going to do them all. I'll cut so you don't have to watch me do them all. I'll show you how to do a few. 
pour a couple out on the surface where they won't roll around. Now I'll take the spring again, pull it all the way down like that, and I'll show you what I mean. You put it in a bigger opening like this, and it just falls down. And I'll do a couple until you can see them all. That's two, three, four, five. Uh, before I continue, I'm on five. I just want to say, guys, never overload your BB guns. That can totally break your guns. If it says it holds 18 rounds, put 18 rounds in it. You can put less, but do not put more than 18. Some guns, you may be able to get away with it, but um, do not do it. Some guns could break doing that if you put 19 or 20, even though they fit, and it only holds 18, or it says it holds 18, just stick to the 18, even though the 19th and 20th one may fit. All right, just to let you guys know, just uh, I don't want you guys breaking your CO2 gun just for something stupid like that. I've done that in the past, and it's terrible. Um, so anyways, I'm on five, and as you can see, they start to fall down once you put them in that big opening. You can see it just drop in, and it slides down. So I'll put one more in, and I'll cut. So that's six, seven. Eight, nine. One eternity later. Alright guys, so now I got 18 rounds loaded up. Um, as you can see, this is what I was saying before um, about more being able to fit. This is 18, right? Now if you pull the spring back, you can see there's clearly more room for more. I could probably fit another three, maybe four in there, but don't. Don't do it. Just stick to the 18 that it says that it holds, and that's it. You can easily break a gun depending on what gun it is uh, like that. Uh, I did that with one of my old guns. I forget which one it was. Um, but it held 12 rounds. I think I put 18 in it and it broke. Totally broke it. Um, my fault. But definitely don't overload these things. Just stick to the capacity and that's it. Um, so that's how you load BBs into this thing. So now I'll show you how to load CO2. So once again, this is gonna be on like this. Obviously, the uh, this part right here, the part that you can stick your finger in goes down. The part where the Allen wrench can fit goes above. You just unscrew that, it would be screwed in. You just take that off with the Allen wrench. Um, take that off. And then uh, take your 12 gram CO2 cartridge. I have one here from Crossman. Now, I always emphasize it, lubricate your guns. Before you shoot your gun, first of all, lubricate it before you even shoot it at all. Get some oil, not WD-40 or any oil. Go online and look up what oil you should use for your guns. Um, I use what's best for me. I'll put uh, links in the description for it, the oils that I use. But um, before you even shoot it for the first time, oil the trigger, oil the hammer, oil the charging handle, oil the uh, barrel, you know, oil where the magazine slides in and out, uh, just oil everything, uh, just make sure everything's good, put a little drop of oil in the switch there, just to make sure everything runs smoothly all the time, uh, not a lot, you don't want to oversaturate it, just enough to, you know, make everything run smooth, uh, put some oil right there in the crack of the safety, you could put it, see how there's a little crack, you could put a little drop in there, and all those little cracks just make sure everything runs smoothly now once you put a little drop of oil in there just move it around just put the safety up and down uh, release the hammer just to let the oil move around and get through the gun um, and then uh, as I was saying now once you have your CO2 or your BBs loaded what you want to do is not just oil the gun you want to take some Pell gun oil or whatever oil is best for you I like Pell gun oil now you put one drop of this on each CO2 cartridge to keep the seal inside the CO2 gun lubricated because if that dries out and cracks, that's what holds the CO2 in the gun. If that cracks, the CO2 will leak out and you'll hear it and the gun will be useless. Um, so definitely keep it oiled, keep it nice and wet. Um, so you put one drop like this. That's it, that's all you need, one drop. Now this goes face down in the magazine like this. Don't worry about the oil, you just pop it in like that. Put the top back on. Make sure it's lined up correctly. You don't want to put this, screw this in and strip it and get it in wrong and then 
uh, you're screwed because I've done that once before where I, it was screwing in fine. I didn't realize it wasn't on its threads correctly, so I couldn't unscrew it, and the magazine was just trash after that. So make sure you can unscrew it easily and screw it in easily before you actually tighten it. So now that I have CO2 in, I'm going to tighten it to the point where I feel like it's going to pierce if I turn anymore. Just And I do that just so I can get a good grip and get one good turn so I don't lose any CO2 or lose as little as possible like that. You heard, might have heard a tiny drop come out. Um, now you don't want to over tighten your seal, I mean your piercing screw as well. Um, never over tighten this because that can also break your gun. Just tighten it enough so you don't get any CO2 loss and that's it. Um, now you have BBs and you have CO2 loaded in this thing. Put my BBs aside, let me just cap up my Pell gun oil because this stuff likes to leak. I could put my notes away. See, I take notes for you guys uh, when I do my reviews so I know what I'm talking about. Um, put this away. Now, make sure before you put your magazine in that you're on safe. Again, see how it says F for fire? It's in fire mode. Make sure it's in safe. Make sure you see that S and nothing can happen. Now, you put your magazine in. BBs face the muzzle like that. And then you just pop it in like that. Simple. You don't have to push it hard or anything. And again, that's the mag release. Press that in, pops right out. You don't have to push it in real hard. You don't have to slam it in or anything. You could just put it in just like this. And that's it. It's not going to come out. It's not going anywhere. It's in. Um, just be delicate with these things. Even though they are built well, they are not the real gun. Um, they're not made to be out on the field with and during battle or anything, so uh, they're not made to that specification. So uh, just be a little bit delicate is all I'm saying. You know, they are replicas. I'm um, sure some are really good replicas, but I would still just be careful. Um, you never know. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah, that's the review for the German replica of the Umarex Legends M712. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I will put links to everything in the description. BB, CO2, everywhere you can get this gun. And then after the review, I'll show you some shooting. I'm going to do some side profile shooting of this and some accuracy testing as usual. And then I will see you at the end of the review. So I'll see you later guys. Peace. Alright guys, so here we go with the first mag, um, I'm going to do it from this distance and I'll get closer and closer for you guys and I'll put some in slow-mo so you can see. I'll do a couple shots in semi-auto and then some in full auto. So let me just take this off safety. Um, it's already cocked, I already had the charging handle pulled back so let me just let him rip. Oh, it's on safety. Sorry, pardon me guys. I just took it, put it on safety. Right. And I'll do some in full auto feed. Oh, money already. Full auto just eats right through the BBs and CO2. They just go like nothing, like nobody's business. So let me reload that and I'll get a little closer for you. Alright guys, so I got a fresh mag and here we go with the real close up. Uh, this is as close as I can get. Uh, so let me just take this off safe. Cock this back, pull the charging handle back. And we are ready to go. Let me just get a good view for you guys. And then let me let off 18 rounds here.
and I'll do a couple and full auto for you. It's super fast. Alright, I'm out. That's it. You put it back in semi auto, put it on safe. Take the mag out. Yeah, I'm on E. So let me reload and uh, I'll be back. Alright, guys, what's up? So I got a fresh mag and I'm gonna do a close up. I'm just gonna dump the mag into my trap so you can see that blowback in action. And then I'll probably put some slow mo clips in there for you. And then I'll reload a mag and do probably just do a mag dump for you guys. So uh, here we go with the first uh, magazine. Let me just take it off safety. Alright, let me just get in position. Alright, let me just make sure you guys can see that really well. Alright, here we go guys. That's it. So let me reload and then I'm gonna do that on full auto. I'm gonna put that on full auto and do a mag dump for you guys. So I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I'm back. I got another 18 rounds loaded up. Let me put this thing again to put it on full auto. You just press this button down, put it on the R. Now you're in full auto. Um, cock it back. The hammer. Pull the charging handle. And then uh, let's see what this thing does. Let me just make sure I get a good view. Alright, here we go, guys. So, yeah, that was full auto. You can't really tap the triggers too hard. Uh, I tried tapping it, but too many come out. Like, eight to nine come out as soon as you tap it, just even slightly. So, you get about two taps, and then you're on E. Um, so, that's it, guys. Um, so, let me set up some cards, and I'll do some accuracy testing for you guys. And then I'll see you at the end of the review. Alright guys, so I'm back. I got another 18 rounds loaded up. I got a new card or the first card tacked up. I'm going to back up about 7 feet. I'm going to do this on semi-auto the first time and see what I can do. So let me back up, take this off safety, and uh, hopefully not embarrass myself. Alright, let's see. Take it off safety, cock it. Alright guys, here we go. Um, close. Oh, I'm pretty accurate with this thing. I'm gonna back up actually another foot or two. Alright, so now I'm about 10 feet away, I'd say, but, yeah, definitely about 10 feet away. Alright, that was way off. I need to get in a better resting position. on you guys so as you can see I did not do that bad 
Um, this shot here, just in case you're wondering what happened, I actually tried to elevate the sight, so just to see what would happen, I elevated it slightly like that, and that is what happened. Um, so I was just messing around with the sight, um, but not too bad, uh, I can't say I did too bad, a lot of the shots were going right to the same spots that I had hit previously, so not so bad, um, I did not hit the center circle, but I tore up around it for sure, I'd say that's a good, def definitely a good, uh, card right there, uh, so let me load up another one, and I'm curious to see what happens on full auto, just to see what it looks like, I'm gonna definitely move up a little closer, Stick to seven feet, I think, um, and just let them go and see what happens. I'm curious to see what the spray pattern looks like to see if it's centralized or does it just spray all over the place. So let's just see what happens. Let me tack up another card, guys. All right, guys. So I got another card tacked up. I got another magazine loaded up. Um, let's just see what happens on full auto. I'm gonna aim for the circle, obviously, right in the center. Um, and I'm just gonna let them rip from about seven feet away, maybe about six feet, maybe I'll do it a little closer. Um, but let's just see what happens, let's see what kind of spray pattern this thing has. So let me take this off safety, cock it. Oh wow, that is all over the place. I'm about five, six feet away. So I'm going to move up actually a little bit. I might be running out of CO2 actually because it seemed like uh, some of those were ricocheting off the cardboard and that shouldn't be. So uh, let me just see what happens. Oh yeah, I'm definitely running out of CO2 guys. So. Um, you won't even let me fire. I have to recock it. I'm not to do it on semi auto, so let me just finish this off in semi auto, I guess. Oh, it won't even let me. Alright, so let me reload and see how you guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. I got a fresh. CO2 cartridge in, I got, um, I wasted, uh, 10 rounds, I had 8 rounds left, so I reloaded another 10 rounds, so, let's do this again, uh, I'm gonna back up again about 7 feet, put it on full auto, it looked like it went all over the place, but that could have been because I was low on CO2, so let's see, I'm gonna give it a single tap before I just release the whole mag, just to make sure it doesn't go all over the place, I don't wanna hit anything but the trap, um, so let me back up and see what happens here. Alright guys, so here we go, full auto. Fresh CO2 cartridge. Fresh magazine. I have the feeling it's going to be the same exact outcome. I think they're going to spray all over the place. Uh, slightly. There was some kick to that. Let me see. I'm moving, I'm about two feet away now. Maybe three. Oh, that's actually pretty centralized. Once you get a good grip on it, now as you can see, you can tear up one spot. Uh, the first couple taps I gave it, it went upwards on me. So you just have to make sure you have a real firm grip on it, just to just to uh, compensate for that kickback. So uh, yeah, I'd say that's pretty centralized. Maybe I'll load up another magazine since I have a fresh CO2 cartridge in and I'll just do another card on semi-automatic just for the hell of it. Alright guys, so I got another 18 rounds. I figured since I had a fresh CO2 cartridge in, instead of wasting it, I just put up another card. So I'm going to put this on semi-auto, step back about 7 feet again and see what I could do. I seem to never be able to hit that circle, but I hit right around it. There we go. I aimed next to it, and I got it. Look at that. Beautiful. That's it, that's it already. 
I out? Let me check. Damn, that's 18 already. That sucks. I wish I had a longer mag because I was having fun. Look at that card, man. Take good on that one. Let me just untack it here. Look at that thing. I tore that thing up in the center. That's beautiful. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it, I think, for this review. Uh, I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to take the CO2 out of this thing, put the gun away, uh, wrap everything up, and I'll see you at the end of the review. So I hope you enjoyed that. Alrighty guys, so that was the review and some shooting and some accuracy testing with the Umarex Legends M712 or Mauser C96 M712. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. I hope it helps you if anybody's deciding on buying this. I hope it helps you decide whether you want to buy it or not. I'd say it's a steal. Definitely go get this while you can. It's a solid gun. As you can see, I'm pretty sure you can see just from the video that it's solidly built. It's full metal. I wish you guys could feel it in the video. It's heavy as hell. Oh, well, not heavy as hell, but it has nice weight to it. Um, But anyways, guys, yeah, uh, I will see you in the next review. I'm working on my next one right now, and I have a bunch of unboxings coming out too. As you can see, I just cut my finger recently, and it looks pretty terrible. Um, I don't know. It's It was... Long story, but uh, I sliced my finger wide open. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's the, C the Mauser C96 M712. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next review, I will see you later. Peace.